What is up you guys? I'm Farah and today we're reacting to episode 9 of Cyberpunk. Last episode we found out that Kiwi's a traitorous bitch and Lucy is doing like a little night run escapade. I'm pretty sure to def like protect David and David's on his way to becoming like a cyber psycho and I'm just stressed out because I like I can feel it coming. Betrayal of a century. I, I, I am pissed off. I am scared. I am terrified and I'm praying for the best. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys would like to see my time reactions or my full opacity reactions, make sure to go check them down below in the description to help support me and the channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. Cargo's rolling into town from the east. Got a whole truck to clap for it hits city limits. Hall's two and a half minutes. Is he not noticing that his whole fucking girlfriend ain't at home? As per usual. Holy moly. This job's a bona fide rep maker, that's for sure. Well, target's a corp, ain't it? Convoy like that. I think I know which one. Arasaka. Again? Oh my god, leave Arasaka alone. I really think five of us is enough. On the convoy is peculiarly small. Saka probably posting a limited crew to cast a short shadow. A strat they'll revamp after today. I don't know about that, Tunes. No need to overthink this. Easy peasy. Biz as usual. Wouldn't call it easy peasy per se. The cyber skeleton. Do you truly believe he can manage it? Well, Arasaka does at least. After seeing his chemistry mesh so well with the San Devastan, it's why Tanaka wanted David back at the academy so badly to use him as a lab rat for test runs. And the girl shredded David's file. She hoped Arasaka's plans for him would simply disappear. Oh, I was right. Brian Tanaka tied up a loose end. So Maine and Dorio were mere collateral damage in her scheme. Sure, in hindsight. So much. She didn't mean to kill. I wonder how many has she killed to save this one punk? Lucy. Dove a little deeper. Learned she was once an Arasaka operator. Corp groomed her as a kid to mine data in the old net. <sighs> Explains her cutting the fucking shit, ice. man. <laughs> Simply too perfect. She will be the Kiwi. You're really fucking trash right now. Guarantee Arasaka welcomes us with open arms. This girl's a fast lane ticket up the corporate road. Didn't see you as such a simp corpo climber. What are fixers? If not glorified pet owners who keep their mercenary hounds well fed. And to keep climbing, I shall need your continued support. This is so fucked up, man. I'm forcing you. At the moment, only I have corp immunity for the Tanaka incident. I can't believe Kiwi's willing to fucking betray Lucy like this. I like, I cannot believe this. I'm certain Arasaka won't object. I'll personally negotiate your commission and immunity. Never trust a soul in Night City. The fools who make that mistake get burned. And David? Bar Fuck you. Too? Naturally. In fact, I've the perfect plan in mind. And I'm confident Arasaka will be on board. It's me, and if I got a juicy job for you. So this is how they got to the situation they're at right now? And he noticed that Lucy isn't there? What gives, Chumba? Faraday came through for us. Scored us our biggest gig yet. Huge risk, huge reward. Duck out now if you don't want to face that kind of heat. Putting on you too, Kiwi. Sure. Oh my god. Your little chicken legs will reach the pedal zone. Yo! <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair. What's the plan? Security detail. Small but elite. Faraday's brought in a decoy crew to split Sokka's attention and manpower. Decoys? The version aimed to give us an opening. Though, I'm sure Faraday didn't tell him that. Classic Faraday shenanigans. I just don't understand like she sees how he can clearly fuck over his entire crew how is she okay with supporting faraday in any way like i just don't because she thinks it's a chance at her benefit but she knows he's a piece of shit and it's like this exact situation is what killed david's mom i it's a fucking full circle moment Is this plan supposed to just abduct David? This is just a decoy plan. David, engines warm, snacks are packed. David, wait, are these are these all immunoblockers? <sighs> Grab my mom's jacket. <sighs> I'm calling the gig off. Got a favor to ask. You better knock it off. Becca, I can't ask any anyone but you. What? What's the favor? Becca's adorable. I love her. 
a little unhinged, but she's okay. Dumbass, man. So true, Becca. What? What? David, enough! Oh my, it's three times now. It's on purpose. It's to fry you, dummy. It's to fry you, you dumbass. This is just to get you to fucking do it on purpose to activate your sandepicent over and over and over and over. And over. Idiot. All projections green on track. Taps open. Leaks out. Militech no knows about the con. You're getting your field test. Of course, assuming he can wield the cyber skeleton. So has he not used his cyber skeleton yet, technically? All set. So please enjoy the show. Not good. Better stop it quick. Got a canyon up ahead. What? Damn it! Yeah, I hear you. Drop that! Keep fucking shot! So what now, Martinez? You're right on the edge. Like edge runners, he said the line. Becca, please. Show me you got this. It's time to cut loose. No holding back. It's just you in the road. No doubters to slow you down now. So show them who you are. What you're David, what the fuck? David, you fucking ignoramus, man. I just I'm so scared. Guys, I'm really stressed out, I'm not gonna lie. It fell anyway, brother. So Nova. Well, that was fun. Bit my tongue off. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just trying to stop it essentially, not wreck it. VIP treatment. They send an executive class A V to collect one lone street girl. You really must be their precious lost toy. You see? Still quiet as a cooked cricket. So what? How's another runner supposed to help us out of this mess anyway? Gonna pay her from your cut, I hope. Kiwi progress? Gonna need another couple of minutes to breach the lock. Then sit right with me the way the truck was unmanned. Damn sure it's Arasaka. If you're so worried, just grab the cargo and go. That's assuming you can pop it open quick. Your yapping is killing me literally. I don't trust you, Kiwi. She's trying to fucking trap him, man. It me when we first took the gig. Wide open as it is out here. Fish in the barrel if someone got the jump. Nervous fart like he doesn't deserve that cowboy stash. Nervous fart on purpose. He has every right. And that's Militech. They're trying to get... They're trying to get David. For a crew that large, they sure as fuck can't fucking aim. So they're essentially forcing David to put it on. Ever heard of tech like this? Believe me or don't. As far as I know. They're forcing him in a corner to take on the cyber I thought he already had the cyber skeleton. They kept its development. Hush hush. Most of the info they isolated and concentrated under Tanakh. That's how Faraday got his Militech contract to begin with. Promised to snatch the prototype and Arasaka back years. <laughs> it's not every day you see the splendor of Night City at your feet. What do you say? Will you lend a hand? Help me make your boy fly. My God. David, Lucy, she's calling. What? Not the time. David, where the hell have you? Cyber skeleton. Step into it. <gasps> no time. Militech's incoming. How could you know? Why are they forcing her into it? Why are they forcing him into it? I don't get it. What's the purpose? To test it on him? To be the lab rat? Skeleton. If you want to survive, please, David. Before it's too 
too late. Oh, Lucy. I believe in you. Lucy! What'd she say? The cyber skeleton. We gotta use it or we're all gonna die. No. No. Lucy, no. Say that, though. You sure about that? Someone's after her, too. I'm gonna have to chip it. The whole truck's a mobile installation unit. Here. No fucking way you're chipping that fucking thing! Gotta get us out of this mess. You don't even have the slightest idea how the mystery chrome works or what it can do to you! Don't see any other options. Becca, please knock him out. I'm really scared. Kiwi so sus. Installed something wasn't my main kick the shit out of me. Didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> David, no, David, no, David, no. <laughs> you fucking don't, don't you David. <laughs> oh, text too quiet. What are How are you guys so stupid? <laughs> yep, she's doing it on purpose, this fucking bitch. Fuck you, Faraday, you piece of shit. Look at his body! Lucy's dead? No, she's not. Port in the back of your skull. Answer me! I'm afraid she's currently indisposed. Faraday! I trust the job has been going well. Fuck you! Put Lucy back on! At the moment, your Arasaka runaway is kissing the ground and should feel grateful for it. I was worried I might have overscrambled her brain before delivering her back home. Take your fucking foot off her right now! What the fuck? He's turning cyber psycho now? Besides, I won't have to lift a finger when Arasaka's done with it. Install the soft. Use the cyber <laughs> Please don't use the cyber scouts and run away. I think it's beyond you. Clearly, Arasaka sees something I don't. Please run away. Truly as special as they say you are, boy. Show me what you're capable of. No, please no, please no. Please no, please no. Did she not get a chance to tell him about Kiwi? So now they know? Right into this trap. Please don't install it, man. He's gonna install it, isn't he? You fucking bitch. On top of that, Arasaka engineered in a graphic David. prototype. It can generate new directional graph fields. That there, the mag field generator? Dave, can he uninstall it later or no? That's all squad he just mowed down. He's using the sandy too. <laughs> fucking kill Kiwi, please. Fucking kill Kiwi. Fuck that bitch. He's flying. Is that thing the craft field? <gasps> Shown to be inconsistent in field tempos who wielded it can't withstand the strain on their nervous system. <gasps> with an abnormally high tolerance for cyberware integration. Sure far way to go cyber psycho, you mean. And has immunoblockers installed in it? What the fuck? This is not human. Or sorry, humane. In any way, this is sucked up. David, what the fuck? Yeah, his body is, but the longer one uses it, the higher the risk of bodily cyberware capacity overload. Look at the amount of times they have to put the fucking immunosuppressants into him. Oh my god. His brain is fried. Everyone gets a fair shake. That's the only way I operate too. 
<laughs> Sign me up, Chumba. Into the fire. David, this is too much. <laughs> See, I thought he already had the cyber skeleton installed. Like, I thought his skeleton was like implanted or something that that's what that was but this is ridiculous like you you can see he's lost his humanity he literally has just this torso and like the immunosuppressants constantly being installed like that is so fucked up that's so fucked up i fucking hate kiwi i hate her she's dead to me not like she's real but still i hate kiwi she's actually a piece of shit like an actual piece of shit and she deserves nothing but death in this scenario this this breaks my heart and faraday is trash like i have a feeling that both lucy and david are gonna die and i'm just not ready i'm just not ready thank you guys so much for watching today's episode with me and i can't wait to watch the next one in the last episode with you guys next time bye bye